Let's get you updated on our grain trade here. I'm Marlon Bowling, your tour guide to the ag commodity trade. And uh, we had a little bit of a rally taking place here in the grain market after we got things opened up. Let's take a look at our corn market right now. Our quotes are provided by Bar Chart, and here we go. July, eight cents higher this morning at 11 and a half. That's a couple of pennies from our high of the day. And December, now five and a half higher at 747 and three quarters per bushel. Meanwhile, in the soybeans, well, we have double digit gains on the nearby contracts. July now up 13 and three quarters at 1659 per bushel. That November is hanging on to a gain of eight cents. We're at 1498 and a half. Over to the wheat we go, and in Chicago first, July 10 and a half higher at 1066. That's almost 20 cents off of our earlier low from uh, this morning. And if you look at Kansas City, July, we're up 11 cents at 1109 per bushel. Spring wheat trade in Minneapolis, you have that July contract now trading 10 and a half higher at 1178 and a quarter. Cotton market so far has July trading 225 points lower at 148.56. Going the other direction here, December down 200 points at 124.19. Well, I am joined by Ben Hushin, the illustrious Ben Hushin of the mill in Whitehall, Maryland, and he always gives us a weekly update on conditions in that part of the country. So how are things proceeding as you're getting into the planting season and uh, preparation for planting if they're not already done? Good morning, Marlon. Well, they're definitely uh, the planning's not done. A lot of the a lot of the preparation is done uh, since we talked last week. Uh, we had some rain come through. I believe it was Tuesday night, right after we got done talking. So Wednesday afternoon, some of the growers got back into their tractors and started planting corn and soybeans. A little bit Wednesday afternoon, and then a lot heavier Thursday, right on through the weekend. Uh, the little twist, and for the viewers, uh, I sent in some pictures, a little little something that people don't think about and we uh, hope doesn't happen. As a custom application or ag retailer, we are responsible for burning off a lot of the cover crop and just the winter annuals that show up. And I mentioned a uh, corn planter started rolling Wednesday at lunchtime. Uh, the wind blew all day Wednesday, all day Thursday. Friday morning, we get in the field for a little bit till it got too windy. So the uh, folks in the corn planters, they, of course, wind doesn't affect them, but it was a very trying week for anybody that was trying to uh, put spray down and keep it in the field where it belongs. But soil temperature stayed the same. We had three days in a row that we were in the low 30s. Uh, we're still setting in this community right around 51 Talked to a gentleman in York County this morning. He said he's still at 48. So that's just up to about a half hour, 40 minutes north of us in Pennsylvania. Well, uh, Tim Ross has a radar screen up that shows there is some rain uh, not very far from you. It looks like this particular wave may uh, skid right by you there. But uh, it looks like you may have more chances as we get through the weekend there. It could be kind of a soggy weekend for the Eastern Corn Belt. How much would that hamper your uh, corn production in that area if they do get held out of the field for another few days? So that's a great question. I had a couple of those conversations this morning with uh, fellas. Again, I mentioned a lot of corn planters are running, but this this rain that Tim Ross is sending, I'll blame it on him, okay. uh, this way this weekend, we're kind of reading it as a cold rain, and boy, that's not what you don't want when you plant that corn the first 24 48 hours you really don't want its first drink of water uh to be cold so the soil can be cold and you have a warm rain but from what the forecast i see it's not very enticing i know a couple growers that have decided to leave their planters parked until next week so interesting it's, uh, definitely definitely slowing things down very interesting. Well, thanks for pointing that out. Thank you, Ben. We'll talk with you next week. Ben Hushin is with The Mill in Whitehall, Maryland, and we will pause here. We'll come back, and I'll get you updated on Livestock Trade next. <laughs> 